how to create a welcome email using MailChimp. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up automated welcome emails using MailChimp for free and how you can design beautiful looking emails using Canva without having to pay for premium HTML template on MailChimp and still have very professional and neat looking emails. So let's get started. Now over here, I have just created a new account and just added my email and personal details on MailChimp and just set up my account. This is my basic dashboard. You can see on the left I have my dashboard then I have my create option I have my audience I have my campaigns I have my automations I have my website my content studio I have my integrations and my search so what I'm going to do is I am going to click on create and I'm going to go on to email I am going to select template I'm going to click on get started and what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to select from the layouts, not the themes. And you might be wondering, why is that? Well, if you take a look at the MailChimp themes, you might be wondering, oh, they're so pretty. I just want to use this instead. Why should I design my own email? That's going to be so much work. Well, these templates are only available to premium versions of MailChimp users. So you can see there are a few free templates. So the first row over here is a row of free templates. And then you have all of these paid templates. If you hover your mouse over any of these templates you can see it says upgrade to use so you're gonna have to upgrade your plan on MailChimp to use these templates now what I'm going to do because this is a welcome email I want to keep it simple and I want to go with the first featured basic layout that they have because it serves you the best if you wanted to give a larger display of items and all of that you can add more blocks as you go but I'm gonna start with that and you can see over here what you're going to do is you're gonna design your logo first then you're going to add a product photo you can add your copyright text this is just a basic little shop button then you're going to add your product information and products over here so first off i'm going to design my logo and for that i'm going to go on to canva now canva is a free to use web application you don't have to install anything and you can design beautiful logos templates presentations all of that here on canva and what i'm just going to do is i'm going to search for a logo and you can see there are these basic suggested logo sizes that you can opt for. And now the 500 by 500 logo can seem a bit larger over here on Canva. So what I like to do is I like to go into custom size and then I like to change it from pixels to inches. So make sure you change that or you are familiar with the pixel sizing system. So I like to go with a 300 by 300 pixel size. Or if you convert that into inches, that's around 3.1 inches into 3.1 inches. I'm just going to click on create new design. And then I have this blank little canvas to get started on. So you can see over here on the left, you have your templates, elements, uploads, text, and more. And you can search for your templates for logo. And this is going to provide you with a healthy idea of what kind of logo you should be creating, what kinds of logos are trending and all of that. And you can just uh, use a theme and customize that as well. And I find that to be pretty time saving because it does solve a large issue of your logo and gives you a basic idea and you can work upon your basic idea. Or if you want to get started from scratch, just go into the element section. You're going to search for background and you're going to look for a graphic. Now. Just take a look at whatever you like and just take your time to select something that you actually find appealing. And if you like something but want it to be just slightly different, all you're going to do is you're going to click on the thing that you like. And it's going to give you suggested items that are similar to the item that you like. In that way, you can find something that looks similar to something that you're interested in creating. So I'm just going to scroll around and see what I can find. So you can see over here, this is like a very pretty little twisted ribbon. And I really do like this as a logo section for our brand. If you add a beautiful little text on it, it would look very great. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually even going to not opt for a background so you can leave the background empty and use it any kind of background remover to remove that or you can add some kind of little design to the background i suggest using a design because i really do think they look great and i'm just gonna look over here for a cute little design this looks pretty cute i'm going to resize it and i'm going to do a right click and i'm going to send it to the back so you can do that and this is also pretty cute i'm going to send it to the back i'm going to change the color of my little 
background and I'm going to click on Control C and Control V and I'm just going to place this where it would probably align naturally. I'm just going to copy and paste until I have filled out my background. Just keep on doing it until you have a filled little background. And this looks so pretty. I, I really do think this looks very cute. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into text. I'm going to click on add a heading or you can use any of the pre-made combination fonts that Canva already has. So Canva has a very good selection of pre-made fonts and I would suggest that you use one of these instead of doing a font yourself because that can be a bit difficult to design. So let's just say I'm going to use one of their pre-made font combinations because we are making a welcome email. So this is going to be for maybe a clothing brand. A nice little chic yet classic looking text block. So I'm going to add this block. What I'm going to do is I'm just, just going to rem remove this little element at the bottom. And I'm going to add my own brand name. So let's say if my brand name is Basic Essentials Closet. Now I'm going to resize it and then you're going to place it on top. And now you might be wondering, oh, this is like a curved ribbon. How do I change that? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to select your text and you're going to click on effects. Now over here, you can add a curve and now you can select how curved the text should be. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one word in one curve like this. So I'm going to go into effects. I'm going to add the little curve. And I'm going to rotate it a bit to fit for my text. I'm going to do Control C and Control V. And I'm going to add the second word of my title. Closet over here. Just rotate it until you think it looks good and fits well. So once you do all of that, you're just going to click on download. If you want to change, maybe if you're not comfortable with using like a curved looking text, you can just delete that and go back into elements. Search for something that you will find more interesting. So search for a ribbon. Search for your ribbon on elements. Go into graphics. Make sure you're in graphics, not in photos. And because that's going to be pretty irritating to change up later on. And you can add like a singular curved little ribbon. I just zoom in to show you guys. So for this kind of ribbon, I just don't need to add two text blocks. I can just do it in one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. And you can match the curve of the little ribbon that you have. Make sure my ribbon is centered here as well. And then I'm going to change the ribbon color into pink because I really like pink. So I'm going to go with light pinks. A few little dusty pinks. And I'm going to click on download as well and I'm going to download that. Now once you have designed your logo or whatever you're designing for your email, so if it is a product list or your product info board, you can do that. And then I'm just going to click on this block over here. I'm going to click on replace at the right side. I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to upload my little file. So you can upload videos as well as images. I'm just going to go for a still image like this. And just like that, you have entered your logo. You're going to change your image display size to fit your little email. So you don't want it to be overbearing, but you don't want it to be like non-recognizable. So you're going to make it a decent size. And once you have done that, you can change the style of your block as well. So you can add solid borders. You can add dashed borders, dotted borders, anything you want. You can add ridges, grooves, all of that stuff. I like to keep it simple or I like to add like a dashed line. You can choose the thickness and the color of the line as well. So adding a pink line is going to look really cute for this logo. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to just save and close. After that, you're just going to add your product and you can add like a sale information over here as well so you can write maybe well, welcome to our website or welcome to our closet or welcome to the essentials closet currently we're having a 50 percent off sale and you can add like a board or a cover page or cover image over here using canva you can do that very easily just pick up a pretend with free design open that up and just design over here and add it to that little template you guys understand the basics of canva now you know how to design so i'm going to skip that and i'm just going to click on save and exit so you're going to name your template so i'm going to name it welcome email i'm going to save this once you have created your email template what you're going to do is you're going to go into all campaigns and you're going to click on create a campaign now what I'm going to do is add my little email. So I'm going to select your own template. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my campaign. So I think I already have created my campaign for this. Welcome email. 
So you can create an entire campaign or you can just automate the individual email template as well. I would suggest that you automate a individual email template. It's going to make it a little simpler, but you can also create an entire campaign. So I'm going to add my recipients. So I'm going to add my contacts over here or you can import contacts as well. Then you're going to add your from sending. So you're going to add your name, Sarah from Essentials. Then you're going to add the email address that you want your emails to show up from. I'm going to save that. Then you're going to add your subject. So you're going to add welcome to essentials closet like that. And then you're going to add your own email. So you're just going to select the template that you just created on design email. So you're going to select save templates and you're going to select your newly created welcome email. And once you do that, you're just going to save that and automate it. So I'm going to continue. And once you do that and keep up your and create your entire campaign, you can just finish this later or schedule it for later or you can send it right now. And if you click on automations over here at the left, you can click on and see what's possible. Welcome emails. Start building and then you can choose whenever a contact is added you can send them a welcome email and that's going to be very easy to set up just like that you just choose a starting point so whenever a person signs up you can introduce them to welcome emails you can introduce them to your brand and you can provide them with a new user voucher so that is how easy it is to create gorgeous looking emails using mailchimp and canva and you can send them and automate them as well i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create gorgeous looking welcome emails and i will catch you guys in the next video